In this video, we are going to talk about the top 10 ancient Chinese inventions. So before starting, please like this video and subscribe to this channel for future updates. Chinese history dates back to 10,000 BCE, which is a long time ago. Beginning from 10,000 BC, and ending roughly 8,000 years later with the advent of metallurgy. Ancient China was marked by the emergence of established societies that relied on farming and tamed animals rather than hunting and gathering. A distinct Chinese creative heritage dates back to around 400 BC. The earliest known items of this tradition come from two groups. It is currently believed that these cultures formed their own traditions mostly separately, with some communication and cultural interaction between them. This was simply the beginning of a history that would be remembered until humans existed. Thus, in 2100 BC, the Chinese entered the period of dynasties. The first dynasty was the Xia, and dynasties came and went until 1911, when China became a republic. Ancient Chinese individuals offered the world significant information and innovations between 10,000 BCE and 1911 AD. So let's look at the top 10 Chinese innovations still around today. Number 10. Porcelain. While some claim Taoyu, who lived in the 600s AD, developed porcelain, it appears that it was not invented overnight. He used white clay, kaolin, found near his birthplace along the Yangtze River. He made the first white porcelain from different clays, which he sold at Chang'an as artificial jade. Porcelain was invented around 900 AD from quartz and feldspar. Porcelain was finer than clay pottery, virtually translucent. Its white color may be changed. Porcelain was one of China's most prized exports, and the name China was invented to characterize it. Number 9. Seismograph. The Chinese built the seismograph, the world's first earthquake detector, but they couldn't identify how big an earthquake was on the Richter scale. The Richter scale was invented in 1935. Emperor Chang Hung of the Han Dynasty created a stunningly beautiful seismograph in the early 2nd century. Hang's design was a large bronze vessel adorned with nine dragons. The dragons were equally distributed on the vessel. With a detached frog gazing aloft with its jaws open, an earthquake moved a pendulum within the vessel. The pendulum's movement activated the internal seismograph levers. This would trigger the dragon's jaws to open, releasing a ball towards the epicenter. The ball would then land in the frog's jaws. Although this early seismograph is crude, it would take another 1,500 years for Western nations to build accurate reproductions. Number 8. Alcohol. The delightful bittersweet drink that goes with everything. Whether it's rainy or sunny, sad or cheerful. According to Chinese tradition, the first alcohol producers were E.D. and Du Kong of the Xia dynasty, about 2000 BC 1600 BC. Ordinary beer with an alcoholic level of 4% to 5%, was frequently consumed in ancient China, according to research, and was even listed on oracle bone inscriptions as presents to spirits during sacrifices during the Shang Dynasty, 1600 BC-1046 BC. After that, the Chinese learned that increasing the amount of roasted grain in the water during fermentation increased the alcohol concentration, resulting in stronger beverages. Around 1000 BC, the Chinese developed an alcoholic beverage that contained more than 11% alcohol. During the Zhou Dynasty, 1050 BC-256 BC, the powerful libation was described in poetry. Meanwhile, until the 12th century, when distilled alcohol was first produced in Italy, no beer in the West attained an alcohol content of 11%. So, thanks to the Chinese, we can relax in our backyards with a cold drink on hot summer days. Cheers! Number 7. Iron Smelting Iron, manufactured from melting pig iron, was invented in ancient China during the Zhou Dynasty in the early 5th century BC, according to archaeological evidence, 1050 BC-256 BC. China saw a boom in steel smelting from the Shang Dynasty, 1600 BC-1046 BC, until the Eastern Zhou Dynasty, 1050 BC-256 BC. Private enterprise iron making was prohibited and monopolized by the state during the Han Dynasty, 202 BC-220 AD, resulting in an iron smelting boom. Chi Wu Huai one of the Northern Wei Dynasty, 
386 to 557 AD, is the first prominent metallurgist in ancient China, having created the technique of making steel from wrought iron and cast iron. Number 6. Tea. According to legend, the first cup of tea was prepared when dried leaves fell into a boiling cup of water and were presented to Chinese Emperor Shen Nung in 2737 BC. The concept of tea spread around the world from China. The tea shredder, a tiny apparatus that employed a cutting wheel in the center of a ceramic or wooden pot to slice the leaves into thin strips, is reported to have been invented by an anonymous Chinese inventor. The Chinese innovation of tea manufacturing advanced swiftly under the Tang, 618 to 907, and Song, 9601279, dynasties, and tea became a popular drink across China and the world. Lu Yu's Cha Jing is largely regarded as the world's earliest scientific study on tea manufacturing, written during the Tang Dynasty. Keep that in mind the next time you have a cup of tea. Number 5. Silk. Mongols, Byzantines, Greeks, and Romans all struggled to cope with Chinese military advancements such as gunpowder. Silk, on the other hand, was crucial in bringing ancient China and other cultures together. Silk was in such great demand that it served as a trading link between China and the rest of the globe. The famed Silk Road trade routes grew out of the fabric, ultimately stretching from China to the Mediterranean, Africa, the Middle East, and Europe. 4,700 years ago, a mechanism for altering silkworm-produced material existed. In the tomb constructed during the Liangzhu era, which spanned from 3330 to 2200 BC, a scroll carrying an article on silk manufacture was discovered. The Chinese kept the origin of silk a well-guarded secret, and it was only when European monks got their hands on silkworm eggs and sent them back to the West that they lost control. That is a really intriguing story. Number 4. Gunpowder. According to legend, Chinese alchemists hunting for an elixir of immortality discovered this destructive power in the 9th century. Black powder, first recorded in 1044 in Jing Guoyang's collection of the most important military techniques, is a combination of sulfur, charcoal, and potassium nitrate that has been known as black powder since the late 19th century. Gunpowder has long been employed as a propellant in weapons, and as a pyrotechnic composition in fireworks because it burns quickly and produces a lot of heat and gas. Gunpowder and gunpowder-based weaponry were produced and widely employed by military forces to repel invasion at the frontiers, and are one of the ancient Chinese innovations close to the modern period. The Wujing Zongyao, authored in the Song Dynasty, 9601279, by Zing Gongliang and Ding Du, is the first book to contain three formulae for producing gunpowder. Number 3. Compass. The first Chinese compasses were most likely not designed for navigation, but rather to balance settings and structures according to Feng Shui's geometric principles. The first Chinese reference to a magnetic device used as a direction finder has been found in a Song Dynasty text dated between 960 and 1279. Zhu Yu's book Pingzhou Table Talks. Written in 1102 has the first mention of the actual usage of a magnetic needle for navigation. The advent of the compass revolutionized travel safety and efficiency, particularly in sea navigation. Arab traders who visited China are also claimed to have brought the compass to the West. Number 2. Movable Type Printing Woodblock printing was invented in China about 2,000 years ago, and it generated the world's earliest printings. Chinese printing originated with carved blocks during the Tang Dynasty, 618 to 907. Then, in the 1040s, Bai Xing of the Northern Song Dynasty, 9601127, devised movable clay-type printing, signaling the start of a great revolution in printing history. Making the types, drafting the text, printing, and recovering the movable types were all part of Bai's printing process which was considered one of the best Chinese inventions in history. After that, the Northern Song Dynasties Wang Zhen and the Ming Dynasties Hua Sui (1368–1644) devised wooden and metal movable type printing. Other printing techniques, including as wooden type, copper type, and lead type printing, were all based on Bai Xing's concept. Johannes Gutenberg, 
A German printer did not discover movable printing in Europe until 1450. Number 1. Paper. Before the development of paper, humans wrote on other materials such as wood, stone, and bone. The Egyptians discovered papyrus, a form of reed that could be used to write on by overlapping thin strips that had been soaked in water. Around 2200 BC, papyrus is the source of the word paper. Tsai Luan or Chai Luan, an imperial court official, created paper in ancient China approximately 105 AD, during the reign of Han Emperor He Di. However, according to a new archaeological assessment, the paper was developed 200 years before and was employed by the ancient Chinese military. Tsai Luan made a sheet out of mulberry tree bark by pounding the strands together. He later discovered that adding hemp and old fish nets to the pulp increased the quality of the paper. Paper quickly became the new writing medium. And it was only a matter of time before it was extensively used across China. The Silk Road was later used to provide paper to the rest of the globe. What do you think about our video? Let us know in the comment box below. Please like this video and subscribe to this channel for our future updates. Thank you.